Hey guys, so right now I'm on my way to go pick up some fish. I'm here in Apollo Beach going to buy some fish from Offer Up because this person had posted a, that they were selling their aquarium. So I asked them if they were also selling some fish and they said yeah, so now I'm on my way. They lived about like an hour away from me. So yeah, when I go and pick them up, I'll show you guys what we bought. And it's some really cool and interesting fish that a lot of people are trying to get now but i'll show you guys what we get when we get home hey guys so i just got home and i've been acclimating the fish and as you can see all the corals are doing well everything's doing good i'm gonna make sure that the the clownfish that i have here and the damsel they do well with the fish if they don't i'll probably separate them but i'll show you guys what i bought so i spent about 160 dollars but i'll show you guys what i got so right here, I have two uh, engineer gobies, as you can see, they're right here. They kind of look like a, kind of like an eel. I have two of them right there. And then you can see right here, I have a fox face right there, as you can see him in the bucket. So that's a fox face, a uh, rabbit fish. And then in this other container, right there, I have a tube anemone right there. Then I have a huge bristle starfish. I have two clownfish. Then I have a diamondback goby, another bristle starfish. And the main show of this purchase was the yellow tang right there. I've been dying to get one. And he's right there, he's doing good. And I'm super excited to put all these fish in and to see, you know, I'm gonna see how everything does. And yeah, I'll be putting them in today and I'll show you guys. All right guys, so what I'm gonna start off is with the diamond uh, goby right here. All right, let me try to grab him. So I got him right here. We're gonna put him in the tank. See how he does. Really nice. So right there is the diamond goby. Now I think we're gonna try to get the pair of clownfish here. See if we can get them both. Oh yeah, perfectly. Both clownfish. All right, we're gonna put them in. So they're both right there. As you can see, one of them turned kind of yellow. I'm not sure why. The lady said they were both fossilaris, but I guess one of them grew bigger. Well, that's pretty cool. And then the next thing we're gonna get is the fox face actually in this other bucket. All right, let's put him in. He's right in there. He went behind the rock as usual. Hopefully in a couple of days, I'll be able to show you guys, you know, him like out in the open. But right now I'm pretty sure he's shy. He's somewhere back there. And then you can see right there, the clownfish. He's there inside the bucket or inside the little container with the toadstool. So sometimes they have that relationship sometimes with toadstools. So the next thing I'm gonna get is the main fish I bought is the yellow tank. All right, I'm gonna put him in. Yeah. Right there is the yellow tank. So obviously, of course, they're all gonna be you know scared at first, but I'll show you guys an update in a couple days of how they're all doing, how they're all interacting with each other and I'll let you guys know. Hey guys, so right now I'm actually on my way to the aquarium shop because I'm going to donate the engineer gobies to the aquarium shop. So right now I'm on my way. I just wanted to let you guys know that I wasn't keeping the engineer gobies. So I'm gonna give them both to the aquarium shop. I'm gonna donate them, so. I'll see you guys in a couple of days to show you guys how the rest of the fish are doing. 
so i'll see you guys then hey guys so it's been about a month since i've done an update on how the fish are doing right there you can see the you can see the yellow tang and the fox faces there the yellow tang its color has you know came back a lot before like when i first got him he was like super white and also the fox face is doing way way better and then back there we have the tube anemone that he's opening up slowly because the lights just came on obviously we have a little sea urchin there but i wanted to tell you guys real quick that right there is the the diamond goby and he actually has no eyes so if you can kind of see he doesn't really have eyes but you know i'm obviously gonna still keep him but i was able to tell because he got up close to the tank and i saw him and yeah he really doesn't have any eyes but he still does good he still moves around he still feeds so you know he's still doing good but the two clownfish the two pair of clownfish i got they just disappeared one day and to be honest i don't even know where they ended up and I assume maybe they jumped out, but I checked everywhere, couldn't find them. I checked the back of the tank. I can show you guys over here. I don't see them anywhere. So to be honest, I'm super confused. I don't even know where they are. I assume they died or something and maybe the shrimp ate them or I have no clue. But yeah, at least, you know, the yellow tank and the fox face back there, at least both of them survived and the uh, goby survived so that's pretty good but yeah guys so they're all doing super good and you know i'm happy that slowly you know their color is coming back and that bright yellow is coming back but thank you guys for everything and, th and thank you for tuning into the channel and if you guys have any comments for me leave it down below and yeah, till next time.